Hello everyone and welcome back to the Banterweight Boxing YouTube channel. I'm your host Michael Waite and I'm bringing you a bit of a late one today. I think it's about 10.30 uh, or something that I'm recording this right now. But I actually just came from the Palace Man City game. I'm a big Eagles fan and we've just done the job on City. Well I say the job but it was a nil-nil but for us you know that's our cup final. Obviously I had to put a stony on didn't I for the, for the big game. Um, but yeah, that was sick. But uh, yeah, I'm full of energy right now. So I thought, you know what, I'll do a quick boxing video. And today we're actually talking about Huey Fury. So he's been back in the news and he said that um, he wants to fight with, uh, what's his name? Robert Hellanius. Uh, so they're both quite high in the WBA rankings. I think one of them's fourth and one of them's sixth. I can't remember which way round, but they're both quite high in the rankings. And um, if the I think the fight's been ordered for them to, uh, if they're willing to take it. And the winner of that fight would jump quite significantly in the WBA rankings and would probably be on their road to mandatory for the um, for the Usyk belt, well, to fight Usyk for the WBA. I think there's also Dubois and Trevor Bar Bryan who are fighting, um, but I think maybe the winner of those two fights, and if Robert and um, Huey fought, then the winner of that fight, they would get it on challenge for the WBA. So it's a good route for Huey Fury to take to get to a world title because all of those names there, uh, Robert Hellanius, Daniel Dubois, and Trevor Bryan, I think he's got a very good chance of beating. I think his style, that boxing style, fares quite well actually against hard punchers like Dubois and Hellanius, especially with uh, Huey Fury's chin. I mean, I think he's shown in you know the Povetkin fight and other big punches he's been in there with. Uh, you know who else he's been in there with? Um, what's his name? Hammer was it Hammer that he fought fairly recently and Marius Wack. Uh, so. I think he's fared quite well. You know, Joseph Park he's been in there with. So, you know, and in all of these fighters he's either knocked out or gone the distance with. May not necessarily have got the points win, but um, could take a punch off them. So I think against Hellenius, I think would be a great fight for him because Hellenius, very strong, um, carries a lot of power, especially in those early rounds, but doesn't seem to last very long in fights. And I think if... Um, Huey can get past that kind of maybe first four or five rounds. I think he could jab his head off and I think his movement would just be too much for Helena. So I think it'd be very smart matchmaking on his behalf uh, to get that fight fight going. And I think Huey Fury is a fighter we should be really be watching right now. You know, earlier in his career, he got a lot of stick. But remember how young he is. You know, only now he's, he's still only 27. And if you think most heavyweights in their prime are around their kind of 30s, early 30s. So still got a lot of time under his belt. And, you know, in his career already, he's been in big fights. And obviously, most of the big fights he's been in, unfortunately, he's lost. But he's gained experience in that time. And I think he's, he's learned his trade. And uh, each fight I've watched him in, he seems to have progressed quite significantly. Um, you know, in that hammer fight, his last fight is the first time I really saw a very good performance uh, from Huey Fury. Boxed really well, looked very slick as he always does, very rangy, but also was able to sit down on a few of his punches and when it needed to use good combinations and then manage to hurt Hammer and get him out of there. So I think he's a fighter really people should be taking seriously right now um, and keep a, keep a little eye on because his style is, you know, he's a classic boxer. He's, a, he's like the Tyson Furies. He's like the Billy Joe Saunders. Very, you know, um, it works against every other style. There's no style that he, he should really struggle against. Um, I think what he's let himself down with before in the past is a lack of work rate. But I think we've seen, we're seeing a slight improvement in that. Um, and obviously he's got Peter Fury in his corner as his trainer. I think, you know, there's not many better coaches than him in terms of executing a game plan. Uh, so I would watch that space, watch that space. Um, but yeah, I'd definitely pick uh, Huey Fury to beat Hellenius. I think Hellenius is still very dangerous. You know, he saw in that Kaunaki fight, just kind of came out of nowhere, really, Hellenius. Like, I saw him against Dillian White and I thought his career was kind of, you know, on the decline. I thought we'd seen the end of him. I think it almost looked like he'd fallen out of love with boxing a little bit. But um, against Kalnaki, looked very good. Fought him twice, didn't he? Um, bashed him up both times. So, you know, he's still very game. He'll be looking as well. Uh, if he can beat him, he's got, you know, a good run to a world title. So he'll be game. 
But yeah, picking Huey Fury to, to beat him in that one. And I hope that fight gets made because I think it'd be an interesting matchup. Two styles that I think will gel. Uh, puncher versus boxer, you know, always sells well. Um, the other thing I want to say on Huey Fury is apparently they were uh, his promoter was trying to make a fight with Derek Chisora. Um, and Chisora has openly come out and said he doesn't want that fight. And I don't blame him because Chisora right now, I think he's got three losses on the trot. Um... I think it's free. He's definitely lost to Usyk, and he definitely lost to and he lost to Joseph Parker. Well, I think that was twice, wasn't it? So he needs a big win. Hasn't won since uh, David Price, and I think getting in with Hugh Fury is the wrong fight for him. And I think he knows that someone who's going to keep it rangy is going to be hard to hit. He needs someone who's going to be a bit more stationary, someone he can slug it out a little bit with. Um, so yeah, he's openly come out and said doesn't want that fight, which is credit to Hugh Fury. Shows that he's a a game a game opponent. So we'll see you Chisora fights next. Do you know what? I love Wilder Chisora. Oh, come on. Make that fight. Make that fight. That's a brilliant fight. But yeah, just a quick video. I'll wrap it up there. Um, let me know what you think about Huey Fury against Hellenius. Are you as confident with, as me that uh, Fury will do a job on him? Let me know. But as always, thanks for listening, guys. Please like and subscribe. Subscribe? Said that right, didn't I? Um, we're growing this channel now putting out that content. And anyway, good night.